I'm very optimistic about the recovery of tourism this year. I mean, now for this summer, where the air capacity is above what it was in summer 19, uh, knowing that from Morocco, 80% of tourism come by air. So the capacity is a key factor, is a key indicator of how, how, how recovery is going to be. We have a chance first to have a, a big Moroccan diaspora abroad, which is also securing the airlines to put, to put uh, seats. Plus, there's a big attraction for Morocco as a destination from all our source markets, specifically the, all the European source markets, who are eager to travel, to come to discover Morocco, to discover its, its authenticity, its gastronomy. Uh, some destinations are very well established in some major markets, Germany, France, Spain, UK. So I think all these people are looking forward to come back to, to Morocco. So I'm very, very optimistic about this, the, 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 the coming summer season. Well, there, there are uh, Morocco has has different hidden gems indeed. Uh, the ones I, I can I can't uh, I can't uh, select any, but I would recommend some. Dakhla, number one, Dakhla in the very south of Morocco, which is just a combination with desert dunes directly on the Atlantic Ocean. Just beautiful. It used to be a spot for for uh, kite surfers only, but now it's becoming more and more an established destination for couples, for families, young families with with with, with kids, and for spa treatment and. Basically, it's a fantastic place just to escape, to disconnect, disconnect completely from, from, from your, your daily life. And a number two destination that I would suggest is uh, Chef Shawin, which is now in the north of the country, in the mountains, in the middle of the mountains, just beautiful, the blue city as it's called, just famous uh, as it is. It's just extremely authentic, extremely sustainable. The gastronomy is fantastic. The population of the north is just fantastic people. And the place, is, it's an amazing uh, hotspot that is booming now and it's, I'm quite sure that in coming years it's going to be a major destination as well. Well, we have a very close uh, relationship with, with all our uh, partners, airlines, all the major players. Uh, two ways where we, we, we are very useful for, for, for airlines. First, data. We know our clients very much. We have studies. We, and we collect data from all our other different partners with the airlines, with the OTAs, with the tour operators. So all this data is valid, is, is, is used by our partners' airlines when we select what routes, what destination, what is the good perception that we have in different markets. And then we select routes together that is reducing the risk that the airlines are taking by implementing new routes. And the second uh, way to, to, to collaborate is pure incentives. We give incentives to airlines. We have two tenders a year, one for the summer season, one for the winter season, IATA season, we work in the IATA seasons. And then also we have to, uh, sup where we give uh, financial support that be, will be used by the airlines to promote these new destinations, these new routes for Morocco. It's, a, it's, it's an important uh, uh, support that we give. It's, it's pure budget, which is very, very, very important for the airlines because it's, it gets into calculating how, how profitable is the route or not.